Don't be afraid to make so, mistakes. Let's see the next event. Star Seekers Solo. And the first step to any great adventure is stepping outdoors. This girl worries about Follow your eyes. Okay. Where is that? All part of the learning process. Mm. Ha! Uh -oh. oh, this is great. It's a uh, well dressed stranger instead of someone from the air mines or treasure hoarders. Alright, I must seize this opportunity. Uh, Wayfaring frame, please wait a second before you venture forth. Can I help you? Good day, bracket. Address them as sir or man based on their gender, bracket. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, terribly sorry to bother you, uh, but please take some time out of your busy schedule to give ear to my request. Did you just say bracket? Uh, oh, anyway, please don't inter interrupt me just yet, or I'll forget my lines. I, I thought she was reading this somewhere. My next line should be bracket. Describe the difficulty you've encountered concisely and politely ask for their help. Then thank them in a formal manner. Bracket. Uh, and the last line is bracket example bracket. I I truly I be truly grateful for your kindness and generosity. Your good deeds shall be remembered forever. In the meantime, I'm willing to pay you handsomely for your hard work, so please, I implore you to give my request some serious consideration. Well, now that I didn't miss a single word this time, it shouldn't be a problem at all. Alright, I'll leave the future stars to you then. Uh, sounds like you have a favor to ask us, but I'm really not following. Uh, how come? I come to 50 things every traveling scholar should know. That was exactly what you should say when asking strangers for help. There shouldn't be a problem. I have some questions. You have been told us what difficulty you've encountered. Really? Please give me a second. I'll look up what you recite when you haven't told them what difficulty you've encountered. Go to excellent. Um, it doesn't say anything about that, but someone told me I can just check the book when there's a problem. I was still confused, but by the looks of things, you need our help, right? If the book can't help you, you can just tell us what's going on in your own words, no? Alright, I'm Bano, and I came here following the map to look for the future stars. There are altogether six of them. Whoever finds all of these future stars can summon the Great Future Star, which is a super duper amazing. Uh, and that's exactly my goal here. Uh, Pemon remembers that you did mention something about the future stars earlier. Yes, that's about it for the future star setting. Setting. Yep, compared to the ones I usually read about, this setting is pretty easy to understand. But it's also less fun since it's a little too easy. <coughs> well, then I thought that Sani was too vague considering he never talked about how to find the future stars. So to make up for that, I came up with a supplementary Sani. Well, the girl was a strange object from the grass behind her. And that, this is Banu's Wisdom. Yes, that's the name. It's a very important item because it can help you locate the future stars. Isn't that impressive? I think it's a really cool name too, don't you think? Unfortunately, it's way too tall and heavy for me to move it around, so it became less cool. This is a favor. This is the favor I'm asking. You should be able to move it, so you can help me find the future stars with it. After summoning the great future star, I'll reward you with, in a big way. Uh, is that your request? 
Before I met you, I had also asked others for help, but when they heard about the future stars, they just gave me weird looks and didn't want to listen to me anymore. They even told me to stop fussing around and go back home to my parents. That's so annoying. I'm not some runaway kid up to mischief. Adults are always like this. Just because I'm a child, they think I'm talking nonsense. But the future stars are real. I'm not imagining things. You'll see that I'm not lying once you take this uh, good news wisdom. With you, we go look for the stars. If you're not willing to help either, I'll just have to wait and see if the next person I meet is willing to listen and accept my request. Okay, I'll see what I can do. I still don't know what I have to do. You believe me, thank you. And please take this panel's wisdom with you. Remember, after he runs for a while, Bandos Wisdom will need to rest a bit before he can point you to the location of the future stars again. Oh, and take this book, 50 things every traveling scholar should know. I've marked the location of the stars on the map in this book. So may follow that map first. Come back to me once you find all six future, future stars. Then we can go check the great future star out together. I'll take you there. Okay, now I know what I have to do. Oh. <coughs> you must use the eye then know as Manus Wisdom to search for the trail of the future stars. The closer you are to your objective, the more accurately the item will direct you. And the, small, the smaller the area of effect you get. When you discover the location of the future star, the puzzle that conceals it will appear. So the puzzle to collect your prize. How's it going? Have fun on these future stars? Not yet. Oh, did you not know how to use the man's wisdom? It's really simple, just do as the manual says. There's a manual. Of course, wait. Did you not see one? Oh no, I was forgotten to bring it. It's but it's okay. Uh just put Bandus Wisdom on the ground and it will automatically point where the future stars are. All you need to do is follow its guidance. Remember, after once for a while, you need to rest a bit before I can point you to the location of the future stars again. Uh, not yet. Where's the manual? I put it with Bandus Wisdom. Wait, did you not see it? Oh no, I must have forgotten to bring it from home. But it's okay, just run okay, same thing. And we have. See? I'm not lying in the future stars real. After all, Salmon Bird them himself. As an adult, he may not be able say they may not be the most reliable if at all. But he never lied to me. I believe him. I marked the locations of the future stars on the map. Just follow the map and you should be able to find them all. Then we just like to her and she just ignored it. Total us how to find it. I like to have a chat. Uh, this is... This I can re really relate to. It, it gets boring easier than you'd believe when you are out in the wild all by yourself. When I was at home, I had so many things to do every day. Apart from all the homework, the housework. I had to cook meals for Salma with apple. Or else he had nothing to eat and starve. Those were some busy days, but I never felt bored. Uh, but now I'm away from home and all by myself, so I understand how you feel completely. How old is her? About Salma? What do you know about Salma? Well, Salma is Salma. Can cook meals, can sweep floors, just another terrible adult. Uh, he's either writing reports in his study at home or working at the academia. I remember he's one of those Spandamat researchers, but his job is so vastly different from that of those amazing traveling scholars who are always on the road. He told me that he just starts out old stuff in, the, in a dark warehouse every day, which isn't cool at all, and no one would play with him, and that's just sad. So whenever he's bored, I hang out with him, and we come up with all kinds of settings. Someone's got to keep him company and play with him. Settings. Yes, yeah, settings. You looked as confused as when we were talking about the settings of the future stars just now. Are you unfamiliar with settings? I can teach you how to come up with them. 
So next time, when you get bored, you can create your own setting just for fun. As Alba said, settings are just a set of rules. Many rules are created by others, but you can also create your own rules, and that's fun. For example, someone will take back old items that the academia had intended to get rid of. They would come up with a setting for each item, and all of a sudden, they became new and useful. Salma and I came up with the setting of the future start together. They used to be called powerful cores. Uh, I mean, future star is just a much better name than that, right? But soon I'll be studying the, at the academia and have little time to hang out with Salma anymore. Uh, have I met this Salma before? Because the mechanism seems familiar. Uh, about 50 things every traveling scholar should know. I mean, the book I lent you, don't worry about it, I've got a few more copies in my pack and a good pile at home. They've printed too many copies, so the editor just gave the rest to us. After all, someone wrote the book. I've been preparing to become a traveling scholar, so I've read that book many times, to the point where I can recite most of it. So it's fine to lend it to others. Although the copy I lent to you only has a few pages left. Save for the map. I've used most of the pages to light fires. If you want to give it a read, I can lend you a, an index copy. Why do you want to become a traveling scholar? Because traveling scholars can travel the world and that's fun. Adventurers can also travel the world. But traveling scholars can contribute more, you know? I often heard those adults at the Citadel of Rexar complaining about those adventurers trapping themselves in the desert and that they had to send people to rescue them. While traveling scholars get to study abroad with their certificates in different countries, isn't that awesome? And they usually bring tons of useful reports back to the academia as well. While we were searching for the future stars, I wasn't slacking off here. Uh, I've been writing my traveling report and I'm halfway through it already. Anyway, I mean most uh, I mean most like to become a traveling scholar. But if I can't be that, I'll consider becoming an adventurer as I suggested. Uh, another chat. Uh, about Apple. I do want to know her. I can introduce you to Apple for sure. Apple is my best friend. When I was little, mom brought her back home. She used to carry me on her back and walk me around. She'd help me cook too. But we were running short of a fish and meat back home, she would go out and buy some fresh fish and meat for me. Apple is the best. With her by my side, no one dares to bully me. Uh... Her mother brought her home. Uh, I can protect her. I think Apple is a dog. Uh, 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 oh, I, I have to check here. I don't think she buys meat, but maybe she can't say bring back home. Oh, no, no, it's above. Uh, let me fix that. Yes! 
Time to go. Wind strike. See, it says observe the changes in your environment. Is the current always there? Just suddenly. There's not enough time to read. Weather all around brightens the heart. <laughs> uh. That was it. Future star. Stars and combos logical settings, which put you stars are pressure trash, but there's hope and infinite possibility. Mm. Okay. Let's check the next. Uh, uh, that's a large pyramid. Should search. Time to go. Oh, I don't think I open if I have to enter there. I think it's closed. Shut 
I will have order. I'll uproot you. Oh, it's there, man. Time to go. Okay. Next. Taking a stroll in the middle of a downpour certainly rouses the spirit. But it's best to dry your clothes as soon as possible after the rain stops. The campaign begins. Okay. Uh, oh, there are more. I gotta have to. Uh, I gotta need Amber to. Ah, oh, come on. There is no escape. Uh, and I need to stop the rain. No, maybe I don't on those arches. Those are different from regular ones. Outrider Amber reporting. Let's see. Yeah. Shattered. Yeah. I'm cheating. Shine down. Search. Oh. Yeah. No, I can't go back. Switch. Um, 
I will lead us to... Oh. Back here. Now. I suppose so. Jump over there. Uh, I can get that with Kazuha or John Lee, but ah, uh, here. That was the last one. That was the last one. Ah, oh, they are not open yet. Uh. Come on, there's six days for this to end. I hate those things. Okay, so let's continue now. And those damn vents never fully unlocked from the get go. Uh, okay. Mm, hang on, my camera's a bit. No. Okay. So, yeah, I guess I'll win this event quite fast. So, I'll probably do some quests afterwards. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah.
Time to go. As one with wind and cloud. Gather. Can't see. One with the forest. Stabilize. Clouds high. The birds. This is order. Wind strider. In shroud. That's fascinating looking part of the map. Time to go. Huh. Hmm. Oh yes, there was a sign on the first one, and I thought it would be on the others. Over certain changes in your environment carefully. Yeah, something, something. Look at the cards. the last one. No, just two one. Ah, if collect all six, then we should see better. Hmm. Hmm, will it be another domain? Probably he will Kazuka before. Eh, whatever. I guess it's only. <laughs> How's it going? Have I found all the future stars? I got all six right here. Yay, now we can go summon the great future star. Be sure to prepare yourself before we set off. Unexpected things may happen when we summon the great future star. Every time I attempt something special, unexpected things happen. So I'm more than well prepared now. You should be careful too. Last time I fired a great golden skyscraping arrow while at home. Do they have skyscrapers here? Uh, the yard suddenly exploded. Uh, if Apple hadn't rushed over and taken Salma and me away, we would have been pretty doomed. Isn't that a bit too dangerous, actually? And rest assured, in general, all issues fall within acceptable bounds. You just said that your yard exploded. That was big enough a problem if you ask Paimon. It'll be fine, don't worry. When you are ready, meet up with me at this location I've marked on the map. I'll be heading there first. Ignus Paimo got a better feeling about this. We better stay alert when we get there. Okay. 
So let's heal first. Hmm. Here. Time to go. Hmm, okay, that is another way. Mm. There is only one mechanism left. I must say the final trial this time seems pretty easy. This time. Uh yep, I've encountered before the ones I encountered before were more complicated than this. Uh, some of them require way too many attempts to figure out the only correct solution and some would even set the strut if you give them the wrong solution painstaking and truly troublesome why don't you take it from here well according to my experience this mechanism should be no different from those basic old mechanisms sound but actually brings back home you just need to insert all the keys and boom uh, you'll be unlocked Vano, have you been dealing with these weird mechanisms all the time? Yes, I've been to many interesting places with someone in Apple. We've had, we've had a lot of fun together. In fact, we always have fun. Like when I came out to look for the future stars this time. Or whenever I came up with new settings with someone or encountered situations unexpected. It would be so boring to just wander around the house and do the same things every day. If I'm hungry, we often leave familiar places and go on adventures in new ones too. We've seen many terrifying things, but we've also had many pleasant surprises. Even moments that have stolen our breath away. Exactly. And that's why I'm sure that we'll make great friends. Why is she looking down? Then. But there's one thing I want you to know before we continue. I know it can get pretty dangerous playing outside in the wild, regardless of how fun it may be. That's why I've come fully prepared. Someone told me that it's important to observe people carefully before I ask them for help, and that I should stay away from the treasure hoarders and any eremite strangers. What do you look like, next person? Which is why I ask you for help. Now that you've helped me this much, I cannot let you get hurt because of me. That's my bottom line. So if you're scared, it's totally fine. I can solve this mechanism by myself. Scared me? Never. If things can get dangerous, you better leave them to me. That also works. Anyway, just insert the six future stars into the mechanism and there shouldn't be anything to worry about. nothing to worry about. The book you wrote has taught me to run away if I'm no match for the bad guys. So I did. Uh, in summer, how come you brought Apple with you? Isn't she supposed to be at home guarding the house? Apple was worried about you, so she came along. You know she only listens to you and your mom. 
There is no way I can persuade her to go back home. There's What's going on here? Ban seems to know that we should want a tiger jumping out of nowhere. Did she just call an apple? And that man showing up with a tiger. Oh, Paimon's got a million questions. Uh, please allow me to introduce this Plutz here is Salmon, author of 50 things every traveling scholar should know. The book that I lent you. I meant to introduce both Salma and Apple to you after the summoning ceremony of the great future star. But just as I expected, something unexpected happened. Well, at least we won't have to go looking for them. This accident was certainly unexpected, but it wasn't bad at all. If only I could be this lucky next time as well. Good day, I'm Salma, Banos biological father. Yeah. Why does she call you by name then? As for Apple, she's a graceful female worship blunt tiger. And also a significant member of a family. Yeah, I thought it was an enemy that spawned there. Uh biological father. What's that supposed to mean? Are you not Manus father in other respects? Hmm? That is correct, from my perspective. Bano and I share an equal friendship, while in everyday life we are teammates, people who have divided the household chores between us. Being a father is but a, the very most insignificant of my identities, and I much prefer being her friend to being her father. I have been listening to your conversation just now, all while hiding in the hole in the ground right beneath the mechanism. Now that I have heard how willing you are to help Pano, I must extend my gratitude to you. You're welcome. Well, this overly formal way of speaking, no wonder Pano talked like, talk to us like that when we first met. Her phrasing and way of doing things are indeed similar to my own, but even as a child, I would say that Pano is a much more impressive person overall. For example, she make, the mixed rice she makes is 10,000 times better than the one I make. That alone is superb enough. Therefore, I cherish dearly my time spent with such a happy, lively, and marvelous child. Whenever I think of her going to the academia, pulling her hair out till midnight every day in the library, suffering from malnutrition due to regular meal timings, over long periods of time, and her hair turning white even before she turns 40. It pains me beyond description. So naturally, before she starts a new life in academia, I must seize every opportunity to create as many fun memories for her as I can. The Star Secrets Sojourns was designed for this exact purpose as well. Since I am somewhat acquainted with both the lines and mechanisms, I made some special arrangements regarding the mechanisms around these parts. Hey Salma, I gotta ask you this. Where were you the one who called those monsters out? You know, the ones we were looking for when we were looking for the future stars and just now too? No, I would never. They were all accidents. I only have myself to blame for having put you in danger. All because of my lack of consideration. I actually asked Apple to follow you in secret. As for this young traveler, he is apparently more than capable, so you are really an Earl of Elf Fighter, though. Uh, what would you ever do without me and Apple? The two of us have been traveling for a long time, but we never met a father as strange as you. You believe me to be strange? Well, being strange is one of my key traits. So that. We one of my best compliments. So that was one of the best compliments that I could possibly receive. Is that part of your setting too? Indeed so, otherwise, what would the difference between me and the tides of human mediocrity in this overpopulated world be? No matter how strange my words and deeds are, I nonetheless remain an ordinary person in this vast world. Uh, and yet, I have the freedom to talk nonsense, some, 
Something that those prestigious sages can only dream of. Is that not such a delight? Don't be fooled by him. Every time he tries to hide something, he'll act like this and start talking nonsense. Anyway, Soma, here, where's my great future star? Who said that collecting all of six future stars and unlocking the final mechanism would bring the great future star out? Where is it then? Relax, relax. I swear I wasn't deceiving you. Look, the great future star is right here. So it takes out a star punch from his pocket. Uh, this is the great future star. That which has crossed the vast sea of stars and come to you after you collected all the future stars. The look, doesn't it have a shiny white star on its surface? This star is formed by all the future stars you collected. And it is your very own great future star. Put your ear on the black opening and listen carefully. Listen to the sea of stars as it speaks to you. Also, this is the great future star. Mm. Gonna listen. That's nonsense. This is just a star punch. You can find them anywhere on the beaches of Liyue. Oh, well, Salmon. Is Star Conch its alternative name in another setting? Uh, yes, you can say that. In the settings that many people imagine, this is known as Star Conch, and it dwells in the sea. However, in the setting I have created, its name is the Green Future Star. I get it. It's like the thing from the Academia's dumpster. I call it Banu's Wisdom, but everyone else calls it Ayesha Caves Prospector, so that's what that was. Thank you, Sama. I love the great future star very much. Uh, are we just going to muddle our way through like that? I wouldn't call this muddling exactly. Everyone perceives the world in their own way. And in my very own eyes, this is indeed the great future star that has traveled across the sea of stars to arrive here. Uh, isn't it fun to tap into new ways of seeing the world? Plus, Venom has accepted the name as well. Sounds like sophistry to me. You do have a point? No, the first one. Tap into new ways of seeing the world. Uh, so, you just should start seeing the meats in our back as more. We can't sell them, can't we? Somewhere. I don't know, I never try. Wow, I never try selling things from my bag. Wow. I never try selling things. I, I think I can. Paimon, please tell me that you didn't fall for that. Uh, Paimon just thought that it would make our journey much more lighthearted, you know? Uh, please rest assured, the two of you. Even I will never utter nonsense when it comes to Mora. I assure you that you'll be duly paid and that this commission will be worth your while. Please take this as your reward. Thank you for taking care of Banu for the past few days. Your good deeds shall be remembered forever. See, it's such a short event and they have to divide across multiple days. Uh, what do I do now? Mm-mm-mm.